familiar with a plank, I'm gonna give you a couple ways to take it up a level and make it a little bit harder, okay? Starting with a plank on your forearms. You can have your feet together. This should be basic, okay? I'm not arched up here. I'm nice and flat. Squeeze my glutes to help support my lower back. Abs are tight and my elbows are directly underneath my shoulders. I don't wanna be here, that's gonna suck. And I don't wanna be back here, that's not gonna be good either. So, my elbows are directly underneath my shoulders. From here, one way I can make this harder, I'm gonna widen my feet. This is now a intermediate advanced exercise, okay? So from here, I'm going to reach out slow, slowly, I should say. My mother would probably be happy if I corrected that. And then I'm alternating. If I go too fast, my body's gonna twist, and this is what we wanna prevent, okay? So I go nice and slowly, or slow, I don't even know anymore. Reaching out. <laughs> I'll stick to exercise. Tightening up. My spine is straight. Again, I'm not letting my head hang. And I'm not looking straight ahead. I'm looking straight, right about my hands. And sitting back. After a plank, I'm gonna sit back and I can let my lower back relax. Here's a way to really step it up a notch. These are not easy. But again, I like things that aren't easy because they're badass. So, we're gonna go here from our feet wide plank position. I put my hand underneath my shoulder and I come up and I go back down. Again, trying to prevent my body from twisting too much. I can alternate. Paying constant attention to my form. And for you guys who want to take it to another level, we add a push-up. You can either hold it at the top when you're done for about 10 seconds, or you can hold it at the bottom. And again, when I'm done, I sit back, extending my hands out in front, and I let my lower back relax. 